Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. I'm AC and today I'm gonna to walk you through this 2023 Newmar King Air. The King Air is the top of the line in the Newmar lineup. A couple things I'll point out to you that make it the best um, and makes it the one you probably wanna get. Uh, we're gonna start up front. This is on the Spartan chassis. You're gonna have 605 horsepower. You're also gonna have 1,950 pound-feet of torque. So plenty of horsepower, plenty of torque to get you pretty much anywhere you wanna go. Uh, handles the mountains nicely as far as going uphill. Plenty of horsepower. We're gonna start up front and kinda of work our way back here. We're gonna start with our hydraulic steps. So you're gonna have three steps that are open and close. Uh, they've got a sensor on the end so they will stop if they you know, if you're getting, if you're in the way and they touch your leg or they touch a curb, they will stop where they're at and you can still use it uh, wherever they stop. So it's kind of a nice feature to have. Up here on the front, we're gonna start, we have our flagpole holder. So you can, uh, you know, show your support for our troops, uh, your favorite team, whoever you'd like to show that support for. Up here, we're gonna have our sensors because we do have a ton of safety features on this King Air. Uh, not only do you have the horsepower, but you're going to have adaptive cruise, you're going to have blind, si uh, blind spot assist, you're going to have all of the safety features. We're also going to have keyless entry with doorbell and a camera, so you can see who's ringing your doorbell and decide if you want to let them in or out, or not let them in, I should say, or if you want to kick them out later, you can. Up front, we have our Alcoa aluminum wheels. Now these front tires are 365s. We're gonna have 315s on the rear tires. Front axle has a 55 degree wheel cut. All right, we're gonna have dual fuel on both sides. You're gonna have 165 gallons of fuel on this 2023. So compared to the other uh, high-end lineup in the new Mars, so Essex, you have 150 gallons. On this 23, you have 165, so a little more fuel capacity. You're gonna have your lights right here on the side. If you look up to these beautiful big windows that let in a ton of natural light, you can see we have the window awning package. We have the Nova Girard awning package, so we have the two, the two full awnings that cover the whole length of the coach. Plenty of shade on a day like today when the sun's gonna be shining all day and getting warm out. One of my favorite things about the King Air is you have push button compartment doors. Each of them have an actuator that will actually close the door when I shut it here and I'll, you don't have to slam it. It's really nice. Huge compartment up here. In your other coaches, again, your Essex, your London Air, your Dutch Star, this is where that outdoor refrigerator freezer will go. In the King Air, it's in a different compartment so you have this for additional storage. Here we're gonna have a couple things I wanna point out. One, we're gonna have our power slide tray here with a thousand pound capacity. So that'll go out in both directions. Uh, actually, you know what, I'll do it on the next compartment. I wanna show you the star foundation. Again, no need to slam your doors. All right, right here we're gonna, I can show you this star foundation. So strong, true, and robust. So you can see this framework that they weld onto the frame gives you a nice, strong, solid, square frame so that uh, you don't have any twisting. Keeps the floor from cracking. It keeps it gives you a nice, quiet ride. Just a ton of benefit to their Star Foundation. Right here in this compartment, you can see we've got additional tiles. Additional tiles, we've got an air hose for the air compressor and we also have our central vac system, uh, all the attachments. College football just started. In case you didn't watch the game, CU beat TCU. That was a big game for us. Uh, NFL kicks off this weekend, so perfect time for this outdoor TV. Hang out, watch your favorite sports team. Hang out with your friends. Here is your outdoor refrigerator freezer. 
So your central vac. Now this comes equipped, so you can plug it into the 12 volt receptacle on here or standard 110, which we have it plugged into there. So really nice, you can set dual temperatures on this. Again, if you're entertaining your friends outside, you're watching your games, keeps you from having to go inside for all your drinks. All right, here in this compartment, we're gonna have a perfect spot to put your oil. Uh, all your fluids can go in here. Gives you a nice clean area to do that. You don't have to be shoving them in a, in a crate somewhere. Do want to point out our masterpiece finish here, the, our paint on this King Air. You can see the slide is painted to match perfectly. That makes it a nice classy coach. You can also see our side camera up there. So this does have 360 degree camera view. All right, here is a really cool feature on the King Air. So I'm gonna compare this and kind of give you the breakdown on the Essex London Air. If you do the lithium package now on the 24s, you can get up to 900 and let's see you get 640 960 amp hours if you do the three lithium batteries you'll also get the two inverters so you can run an air conditioner going down the road without the generator however instead of 620 or 640 or 960 amp hours you've got two huge lithium battery packs in in the king air which actually gives you 2520 amp hours so you've got almost three times the amount uh, of amp hours. Plenty of power to run all your equipment, run your air conditioner going down the road. Okay, now that we're on the back end here, I told you earlier the front wheels are cut at 55 degrees. The rear axle on this floor plan, the 4558, has an eight degree uh, cut. So this passive steer tag axle, when you're turning, backing into a spot, it does turn up to eight degrees makes handling and turning in tight spots a breeze. All right, so you have 165 gallons of fuel. You have 15 gallons of depth. Uh, so you can fill on both sides. Here is your emergency suspension fill for your uh, Spartan chassis. So if there's an issue with your airbags, you can't get air in them, they're not holding air. A uh, tow truck comes to get you, they can actually manually fill those for you and get you back on the road. All right, here in the rear compartment on the passenger side, you're gonna have your two chassis batteries, your disconnects. You're gonna have your air dryer and your uh, water separator. I love how they cover your uh, filter, right? So you have for emissions, you have your filter under there. That's gonna cover it up, makes it nice and classy. This lever that I just lifted up here is gonna open your engine compartment back here. And now we have Big Red. We've got 15 liter Cummins. Again, that is 605 horsepower, 1,950 pound-feet of torque. Plenty of room in here to get to your belts. Check your oil your coolant, uh, you can fill your coolant, your transmission fluid. So side radiator, a must have if you're doing a, a big coach, in my opinion. Here's your Oasis hydronic fluid as well. Down here, we're gonna have our 20,000 pound tow hitch. You're also gonna have a seven pin connector on this side, your airline for your tow vehicle. Over here, you're gonna have a Voyager connection so if you're pulling a stacker trailer or another trailer that has a Voyager camera, you just plug into there and you can see it inside. Right here is your block heater. We're not quite there. We're just started September. Before you know it, it'll be snowing and you're going to want to have that plugged in so that your engine will start right up. We do also have a quick connect back here for an airline. When it's time to close this, you just lower the lever back on this side and it'll shut. 
Here's another one of those um, sensors that I mentioned for all your safety features. Back here you can see we have our backup camera. Another sensor, our side radiator. And of course we're gonna have our emergency exit door up on the rear side over here in the bathroom. I'll show you that on the inside. As I mentioned, the DEF is also dual fuel so, or fill. You can fill it up right here. Right here is a sewer hose storage compartment. All right, on this, on the on the driver's side, you've got the the back end of this huge lithium battery pack that I was talking about, uh, the lithionic system. The inverters are on the other side. Again, you do have 2,520 amp hours. Here in your water bay, you can see we have a stainless steel water bay with an outdoor shower with hot and cold water. You have a hot water tap. In here is your mana block uh, system here so that you can shut water off to specific areas in the code. So if you get a leak in the shower, you can shut the water off. Don't have to cancel your trip because of that. You can continue your trip and then get your repairs done when you get back. Here we have a touch screen that'll give you your uh, tank levels. You have your gen set. You also have a tilt feature so that you can tilt the coach when you're dumping your tanks. It'll actually lean the coach this direction so that you get all the, all the water out. Under here we have our SantaCon system, our macerator system, our full house water filter, and of course you're gonna have your valves and your city water connection Here is your 50 amp shore cord on a power cord reel. You also have a 30 amp connection for your stacker trailer. Your surge guard and transfer switch. The backside of your two power slide trays. Again, each of these has a thousand pound carrying capacity. All right, here is your power washer so that you can wash your coach, get all the bugs off when you get to your destination. You also have your UV filter up here on the left side, window washer on the back end there against the wall. You're also gonna have your filter shut off, your water and shut off for the refrigerator. Really nice, easy to use. If you, again, if you want to shut the water off, you can do it to specific areas. Look at the size of these windows up front. If you're like me, a little claustrophobic, windows make a huge difference in making it feel like you have a lot more space than you actually do sometimes. Here in our compartment up front, we're gonna have our fuses and spare fuses. You're also gonna have your, this is where gonna be where you open up your generator. This is gonna have the 12 5K Onan generator. Here's your breaker for the generator. So if you ever lose power, something's not working inside your air conditioner, Always make sure you haven't tripped that breaker because that does happen from time to time. Here you're going to have your two air horns. Let's get to honk those when your team scores a touchdown or, you know, field goal. Make sure you're using those. Your city horns are right there. Windshield washer fluid down below. All 
Uh, and I always point out that when you're opening and closing this, you want to be careful because the exhaust is down here. You want to make sure that doesn't touch your leg. You don't want to burn your leg. Beautiful front. So you got a huge windshield. You got your camera up top for the 360 camera view. You got your mobile eye there in the center. Just a beautiful, classy coach. Oh, you know what? I do want to point out something before I go back inside. I don't want to forget. If you ever lose power, your batteries aren't working, or you need to reset your batteries, there is an emergency cable down here that you can pull on it underneath, and that will open the lock so that you can get into your battery compartment. That's very important to know. No games on today, so I'm gonna go ahead and shut, the, close that TV compartment. We do have a screen door that opens and closes right here, so if you wanna get some fresh air circulating. It's kinda of warm out today, so we're gonna just run the air conditioners. You can just see down, looking down this coach, this beautiful coach. Plenty of room with all the slides. You got a full wa uh, wall slide. Full wall slide, you got heated massage chairs up front. You've got your sofa bed on this side, your jackknife on this side, so plenty of room. If you're watching the game, people get tired, can't be driving. You got a place for them to sleep. You can see we have a huge TV in here to watch your games. Not quite as big as the window, but it's pretty close. We've got our sound bar up top. Of course, it's a Bose sound bar. Now, when you're not watching the game, you want some natural lighting in. Put the TV down and you have a ton, a ton of natural light coming in. On both sides of the TV, you're going to have a couple outlets that pop up here. You're going to have some USB outlets. You have a USB Type-C and a standard USB to close these. You just push down on them. Same on this side. Your lights for each side of the coach. You're going to have touch panels throughout the coach. You can have one up front where you can turn on all your lights. But if you're sitting here in this chair, you can actually turn lights on and off for the kitchen area and the living area. You can also work your TV lift, all your lighting, your shades. These are power shades, so you can do the window awnings, the shades, everything off of the touch pads. Makes it nice when you're sitting down. This one was ordered with the ottoman. So when you're watching TV, you can sit back, put your feet up and relax. As far as dining is concerned, we're going to have our booth dinette in here. Plenty of room for two people. You have two folding chairs under the bed so that you can extend the table out and entertain your guests. So, you do have additional storage under here on both sides. One thing I really like about this King Air floor plan is the floor. If you look, it's not the high gloss. I like more of the flat finishes in the coaches. It's just a personal preference. It doesn't really show, uh, you know, the footprints, all that stuff. The decor, the wood trim here is awesome. You can touch it and not leave fingerprints, which if you're a little OCD like I am, you can't stand seeing those things. You'd be wiping it all the time. This is really nice because it does not show that. Just the windows, so don't touch those. In the kitchen. We're going to have plenty of storage here. We have a slide tray. Of course, you're going to have your Numar owner's manuals. A ton of storage. Soft closing drawers. Here in the convection microwave compartment, it's push button. You can see we have a Viking convection oven. You open and close there. 
you can't see these quartz cutting boards and covers, but these are pretty solid. You do have a cutting board on the back side. If you need a workout, you can use these to do some curls. You have your wolf induction cooktop. I have a huge stainless steel sink. It's deep enough for your pots, your pans, soap dispenser. Actually, your filtered water dispenser, sorry. Uh, you've got a spot down here to put your covers. You have your trash can. It's 45 feet. This is a bunk model, so you might have some messes to clean up. They give you a nice little spot here to put all your cleaning supplies so that you can just carry as you go around cleaning. That's the other thing I really like about this coach is that it is the bunk model floor plan. So if you have kiddos that come with you, or maybe you have grandkids that come with you once in a while, there's no better way of traveling than with bunks. You don't have to keep opening the sofa bed or the, or the uh, jackknife. They have their own spot. Here's your dishwasher. Benefit to traveling with kids, you can you know, get a little help. Uh, here is your pantry. With your slide out trays. You'll also have some uh, dividers down there that you can move around. So you can put cookie sheets, different size pans down there. One thing that's kind of cool, Jody, if you'll come back around this side, you can see they remind you you're in a King Air. Every time you open the drawer, you're going to see the King Air name right there. Kind of just reminds you that you have the best in the business, best on the market. Nice feature, another nice feature about the King Air that a lot of people don't know is you have, it's taller, you have more headroom in the King Air than you do in any of the other coaches in the lineup. Uh, has a lot to do with how they insulate the floor, it gives you more space, which means you get a bigger refrigerator. Huge refrigerator with freezer, ice maker down below. This is a Viking fridge, as you can see. Again, it is the biggest fridge. Uh, as far as the height, I don't know if you can tell, when I've done other videos, the slide, sometimes I have to duck underneath, not that I'm super tall by any means, I'm 5'11", but in this one, I don't even have to duck. I got plenty of room. Now we got our set of bunk beds. We have two TVs, one for each bunk, so the kids are not fighting about what show they're gonna watch. You have light controls for each one. You have your shades. There's a window there so you can get some fresh air. These have a 250 pound capacity. Uh, it's a 30 by 72 mattress, so plenty of room, uh, unless you have a kiddo that's seven foot, which I have seen a couple big kids come through here. But a really nice spot that, again, you don't have to keep making the bed, you don't have to keep opening the couch. You can make the bed and leave it there. Before I go into the master bedroom, a couple things to point out here. Here's our half bath. I'm gonna go ahead and open this cabinet because a couple important things in here. You're gonna have your breakers in here. So you can see in here you have inverter one, inverter two. So if one of your air conditioners is not working going down the road or it's not working, you can see this one controls the front AC and this one's the mid. Here are the additional breakers you wanna make sure you don't trip. Gonna have some fuses here, some spares on this wall, right here on the left side. A lot of storage in here. I'm gonna step out because it's kind of tight so that Jody can show you guys the medicine cabinet. There we go. There is an outlet inside the medicine cabinet on the right hand side so that you can plug in your 
your razors, your hair dryer, whatever you need to plug in there. Toothbrush, if you have a power toothbrush. All right, you are going to have a couple pocket doors here to separate the bunks. So if you want to block off the bunks away from the living area and the kitchen, you can actually separate it with this door here. Maybe the kids are taking a nap or one of your friends taking a nap. You don't want to wake them up. Also a pocket door to separate the master bedroom from the rest of the coach. So really nice feature. As we move over here into the master bedroom, we're gonna have a couple things. We have the slide out for the bed. That's where you would slide the bed in and out. You're gonna have your main control panel here. Ton of stuff on here. So your home screen. I had a customer call and ask me how you dim the panel because it lets off a lot of light. It, you just tap on this top corner here where that little light bulb is and you can dim it or shut it off completely so that you can get some sleep. Floor heat, of course this is equipped with floor heat. Also the Oasis hydronic heating, your block heater. Uh, you can go to your climate here and set your temperatures. You can also go to lights, open your shades, your awnings and all your lights. So a ton of stuff on here. If you have any questions on this, I'm not gonna spend an hour on that, but I can actually answer your calls. If you have any uh, specific questions, you can always shoot me an email or a text. Here in the bedroom, you're gonna have of course, another TV. Some good storage on both sides. This is a good spot to put a Blu-ray player if you have one, or your receiver for your satellite. Plenty of storage for all your personal belongings. You're gonna have a fireplace down here, king size bed, wireless charging pad on both sides. You also have a nice little nightstand, so you can put some stuff in there if you want to, so you don't have to be getting out of bed. Overhead storage with an outlet up top. I'm going to go ahead and go over to this side so I can show you there's a touch screen on this side. Again, you can operate your, li your, your lights. You don't have to get up. If you hear something, you can turn on just your wall lights, your accent lights. So if you want to just turn on the accent lights on the floor so you're not you know, hitting your toes, stubbing your toes every time you walk through there. <laughs> Here in the master bedroom, we have our shower with our flip down seat, an aqua view system to help you conserve your fresh water. You have your dispensers up top. Again, those come in really handy. You don't have to worry about where you're gonna put them. You just fill them up right there. Washer dryer. Here is your closet. Go this way so you can see the safe. You're gonna have your single sink here. Storage underneath. Again, you're gonna have an outlet here. Mention on the outside, we do have the escape door here, your emergency exit door. Hopefully you never have to use it, but if you do, it's really nice to have and it's really simple to use. You just take off this front panel. You're gonna let that drop and it's gonna extend down to the bottom so that you can get in and out as needed. Okay, I'm gonna go up to the front now, kind of go over a couple things in the cab area. Let me close this up.
I do want to show you guys after we get done going through the cab how much room is in here. A lot of you like to see slides in so you can see how much space is in here. So we'll go ahead and close up the slides once we get done. All right, a couple important things up here uh, to point out. 360 camera view. Camera is awesome in these, especially if you're towing a vehicle or a trailer. You have three different settings for your trailer. So you can see we have a wide angle, a little more narrow, and then one that's really pinpointed down towards the bumper so you can see what's happening down there. You can hit your 360 camera view and see all around. You can actually check in front. This does have uh, the turn signal cameras, which will automatically turn on when you turn your turn signal. But again, a ton of features there. Going back to the, uh, your main menu, you do have Sirius XM, Bluetooth, your mobile eye settings, your camera. Go ahead and shut that off down here. We have our HVAC system. So we have our heating and cooling, heated steering wheel, which is pretty cool. I never thought I'd like one, but once I got one, it's kind of hard to go back. <laughs> You've got your front fan, overhead fans, your docking lights, your courtesy lights, your entry lock, your generator start and stop, and then you can have your visors and shade on this side. Over on the passenger side, you're going to see that we have the backseat driver camera there, the screen that is going to allow you to have access basically to everything the driver has access to. So you have navigation, you're going to have your cameras, uh, comes in really handy. As I mentioned earlier, this is a heated seat and it does have massage. So whether you're going down the road, you want to relax, it's a perfect spot whether you turn the seat around when you're when you're parked at your campsite and you're hanging out with friends gives you two additional seats for the back here on the steering wheel on the spartan chassis you have your telescope and your adjust right here you have your uh, touch screen here for your main menu up here couple things to point out we have air leveling so you have hydraulic leveling and you also have air leveling so you can actually go into air leveling you can auto level you can do a high ride if you need a little more clearance or if you're getting into your shop you go low ride and then obviously go to travel ton of different settings here you have your message center you have the brightness your trip just your basic information, your tire pressure monitoring system, and your adaptive cruise control. So again, right now it's disabled. You can turn it on, turn it off as needed. Here on the steering wheel on the right side down here, there's two buttons here. This is where you're going to set your comfort drive. So you can see on the screen, I actually like driving with it on three most of the time. You need additional help if it's windy you can set it on five or if you're in a tight parking spot you really want to whip the steering wheel around you can put it down to one so again really easy to get to on the left side you're going to have your your phone so you can turn your phone on and off make calls you have your windshield wipers right here is your Kurt Spectrum integrated uh, trailer brake controller you're going to have your heated mirrors which are power your lights. This is going to dim your light switches, your dome light, and then your high beams. Uh, there's an auto high beam here, so if you want to set that on, it'll shut the high beams on when it sees the lights coming towards you. Over here, you're going to have your traction control override, your windows, your air horn, your battery merge button, and then your heavy tow. So if you're towing heavy, uh, you want to turn that on. It'll actually move air from from the bags uh, towards the rear to give you a little more uh, carrying capacity. It actually give you a smoother ride is what it does. So it, it'll adjust the airbags accordingly if you're towing heavy in the back so that you get a nicer ride. Over here on the left side, we're gonna have our hydraulic leveling system, our uh, Allison 4000 automatic transmission, your tag dump, 
I like that. Personally, I like leaving it on auto. Your engine brake on and off, and it is a three-stage engine brake with low, medium, and high. Comes in super handy. Down here, we're gonna have our memory settings for the seat. As usual, I'm gonna recommend you use one of these settings so when it's time to uh, swivel your seats around, so you just push the button, your steering wheel will go up, it'll adjust the seat, and then you just have to turn it around. Makes it really nice, really easy to, to use. You are going to have a couple storage compartments right here under your uh, heating and air conditioning uh, controls. And this is push button. So right now the engine is off, but I have the accessories on, which you have to have on to open and close your generator compartment. So pretty simple. Um, you can adjust your pedals so that you have, if you need them a little closer, a little further. Just a, a great coach. I can't say enough about the King Air. Again, you have 605 horsepower. 1950 pound feet of torque um, gives you everything you need 2520 amp hours of lithium which is more than enough and just a smooth comfy ride if you've never driven one if you're thinking about getting one come down and see me I'll take you for a test drive I can walk you through the different models we have available this bunk model is available so if you would like me to be your salesperson give me a call show up and ask for me or um, you know send me an email Si hablo español, me pueden hablar al 720 276 4241. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next week.